this is a great venue in terms of the mix of government agency representatives, public health community, health IT developers, app developers, all getting together to you know solve common problems and challenges, and then develop solutions that can be implemented quickly and iteratively in the market. We are bringing the best and brightest minds of uh, healthcare IT together to to teach fire, to improve fire, to grow the fire community. I think what's happened is that it's really proven itself as a, uh, a worthwhile technology that can really accomplish things and address problems that we have in information sharing. And it's that value that people now see. And that's why the members of DaVinci, the payers and the providers and the vendors have come together to work together in uh, focusing on value-based care problems and developing fire implementation guides so that we're not doing point-to-point -point integrations, we're really uh, developing scalable interoperability technologies through FHIR. Hi, I'm Mickey. Uh, we're here at FHIR Dev Days 2019 in Redmond, Washington with Microsoft. Dev Days is a conference that brings together developers, policy people, other people who are involved in FHIR to try to you know, help the network and to get people with practical hands-on lessons learned about how to implement FHIR. It's a mix of people who are really focused on the development of FHIR itself. So they're real, you know, coders and developers who are working on really practical problems. But then you have other people who are here to speak at the policy level and talk about, you know, sort of the big picture of how's it fit in the industry, how's it going to, you know, help the forward healthcare. And I love that mix. So Fire Developer Days is a place where you can learn about how the Fire specification works, hear about what's up and coming in the specification, figure out who in the community is working on what different parts, uh, but also come together to really build tools uh, with other developers. I think the most impressive thing to me about Fire Dev Days is the amount of talent that convenes together from around the world. It's not just the U.S. It's truly international. The thing is that we've got a huge amount of energy here that you often don't see in other conferences. And, and we're not we're not trying to sell stuff. There's not vendors trying to promote their products. Yes, there are vendors talking about what they're doing, but they're really talking about what they're doing with fire, how they're making it work, and, and also how you know what's what's not working, what needs to be improved. So it's sort of it's sort of really again, it's like it's the community. I keep coming back to it. It's the community of people that are wanting to try and make all this work. Thanks for thanks for having me. I love being here, and I look forward to coming back again. Dev Days is really focused on implementers. Uh, the the focus here is not so much on how do we approve the specification, what are the processes, it is people who are actually trying to roll out software into the community and showing off what they're doing and trying to figure out what the next steps are there. Well, this is Dev Days. This is one of the most exciting events of the FHIR community. It's where they welcome new people and you get to see it in action and roll up your sleeves and get to work and learn things you hadn't learned before, meet people you haven't met before and learn how the magic happens. There's just something that's so inherently exciting and energizing about that. And everybody wants to be part of it because we know that this is something that everybody struggles with and it needn't be this hard. Fire is a new standard that is a continuation of HL7's development of ways of, of defining and transporting data. If you really want to know what's going to happen to healthcare in the next few years, come to, to Fire Development Days and see the people that are going to enable it to happen. Dev Days is the place to be if you care anything about fire and if you care anything about improving the world of healthcare technology and uh, using healthcare information to make lives better for all patients around the world, fire is the thing that does it. If you're working with healthcare information and want to make it useful for multiple purposes, you have to use fire. And if you're going to use fire, this is where you learn everything there is about it. You'll meet the people, you'll do things, you'll actually produce things that people can use, and you'll come back so energized that you'll be moving mountains later. <laughs> this is where the stuff actually gets real. This is not, normally I, I make a living speaking at medical conferences around the world and usually it's abstract stuff. It's people thinking about, well, I've got this great vision and I've got a business model and blah, 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 blah. Or I'm a healthcare leader who talks about the future. None of it ever gets real. That's what's happening here is the people actually down in the engine room, so to speak, are have been doing the hard work uh, greasing the gears and everything, making data flow, and 
What cranks me up is that it's finally beginning to get to the point where it actually touches the patient in reality. The most important uh, reason to come to Deaf Days is that there's no other three days in a year where you can learn that much in such short amount of time and at the same time have so much fun with the nicest and smartest people that you could possibly think of. I'm actually proud to say that I've been to each and every one of the Deaf Days that have happened so far and this is by far the largest event that you've had. The crowd is just huge, the event is crazy exciting, there are so many talks going on that you really don't know where to go first and who to talk to and it's really amazing to see how the community has grown over the past couple of years.